Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Gaines Mill, also known as the First Battle of Cold Harbor, located in Hanover County, Virginia, on June 27, 1862. The Union had chosen a defensive position of Porter's men very carefully. They had laid in a partially wooded area beyond a marshy creek known as Boatswain Swamp. Stationed along this area were Union Brigadier General George W. Marl's three brigades, Brigadier General George Sykes' division, and additional artillery batteries along with Brigadier General George McCall's Pennsylvania division. Confederate General Ambrose Hill, otherwise known as A.P. Hill, arrived in a place called Old Cold Harbor, where he was attempting to link up with General Stonewall Jackson. He encountered heavy Union artillery fire that erupted among the Confederate troops. The Confederates raced across and eventually reached the top of the opposite hill and settled in to avoid the artillery fire. Hill's men stayed there waiting for Jackson's arrival before he moved forward. Meanwhile, Union General Porter requested help from McClellan for support. The reinforcements did not arrive before Porter and his men retreated from their position at Beaver Dam Creek. The Union had reformed again behind Boatswain Swamp just north of the river. Confederate General Lee did not want to let up on his attack and was determined to drive the Union Army back across the Chicomany River. Shortly after noon, the Confederates had driven back Union skirmishers, but encountered stiffer resistance at Porter's new position. For the remainder of the day, Union troops beat back successive waves of attacks by the Confederates. With no Union push, the Union kept their position for most of the day. Even with that said, massive casualties were starting to build on both sides. By dusk, the Confederate forces had started to organize their attacks more and were able to inflict higher damage on the Union. This eventually forced Porter and his men to retreat in the dusk light. The approaching dusk was the only thing that saved the Union camp from being overrun and devastated even more. Sometime during the night, Union troops did in fact retreat back across the Chickahominy River and burn the bridges behind them. The loss had convinced McClellan to pull his forces even farther back, back to across the James River. The resulting number of Union casualties were 6,837. This included 894 killed, 3,107 wounded, and 2,836 captured or missing while the Confederate losses were even greater at 7,993. This included 1,483 killed, 6,402 wounded, and 108 missing or captured. In addition, the Confederate forces lost three brigade commanders and one general officer. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.